All right, I just got done editing this video. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. We're gonna go over today how you can price cutting boards. And then we're gonna go over a couple of different ways to do it. Number one, how to do a one-off cutting board. Number two, how to do batched cutting boards. And I'm gonna give you a couple different tips on how to batch projects like this to where you can make the most profit and your customers are gonna be happy with your price too. So here we go. All right, hey, what's up? Got a lot of stuff going on this week. While I'm waiting on the coffee table to finish up, before we start sanding and finishing and doing the final assembly, I'm gonna knock out really quick uh, a cutting board. I had a buddy from college reach out, found the channel, uh, thought it was awesome, and he messaged me wanting a new cutting board. He and his wife, they wanted it exactly uh, this by that, so I will uh, make detailed plans accordingly. But uh, yeah, he wanted to keep it about 100 bucks, maybe a little less. So um, I've got to keep this under one or two hours of labor, otherwise it gets to be too expensive. I don't want to blow his budget. So I'm just going to rip up some strips of just different types of hardwood that I have um, just laying around and uh, we'll see what kind of design we can make. All right, so the main thing about cutting boards with this is that you, re you never really want to make one, right? Because it's going to be really hard to find a client unless they just really love your work that wants to only just buy one cutting board. The amount of time and energy it takes for you to make that one cutting board, you could probably make, I don't know, five or six cutting boards you are really easy to batch out. And that's this week's business tip is when you have little things like this, it's good to just make two or three of them and then try to sell them later for a discount. So for, I didn't do that on this one um, because my buddy just wanted it and I'm trying to get rid of scraps as much as possible before the move. But yeah, I would build like two or three because the amount of work that it, like the amount of time it takes to build like three or four. So like, obviously if you're using scraps, like it's negligible, but even if you had to pay for the wood, like this is maybe five, $10 worth of wood, depending on like what species you use. So I would just make like four or five of these cutting boards and then as people want them and approach you and want them, you can sell them to them, you know, at a discount or at the bulk price because it really only takes another like 20 minutes total to build three or four cutting boards instead of just building one. So um, your margin's gonna work out there. But again, I'll put up all the numbers uh, for how much 
this one cost and how much I sold it for and all that fun business. But anyway, yeah, I'm super happy that my friend reached out to me uh, and wanted this one. So uh, this is the nicest cutting board I've made so far and uh, I really like it. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny and I do not want to let this one go, but uh, Anyway, it's uh, super. It's been super exciting, but yeah, uh, just focus on batching stuff out. Like when you're building multiples of something, especially little things. Uh, David Pachito has a really good video on um, how to price things using a day rate. And if you build five or six in a day, then you just divide your day rate into that number of projects. That's a really good formula if you're doing multiples of things. If you're gearing up for a craft show, or if you just have a lot of things that sell quickly. Another thing too is dimensions. Plan your dimensions according to how you get your lumber. So plan. Plan your projects to where you have as little scrap left over as possible. And sometimes you have to make two or three of something before the dimensions work out to be just perfect of so many legs, so many aprons, so many everything else, if that makes any sense at all. So play around with some of your best selling furniture pieces and see if you can't tweak the dimensions a little bit so you can squeeze two or three benches or tables or stools or cutting boards or coasters or whatever it is that you sell. See if you can't squeeze a few more out of maybe just one extra unit of, of wood. I hope that I hope this is making sense. This is something that we did when we did, we pitched a restaurant a couple months back and one of the things that we planned was making benches out of two by sixes. And we had it all calculated out how we were gonna make each bench or each two, so two benches out of two 12 foot long two by sixes and we like, it was gonna it was gonna work out really well as far as dimensioning and figuring out exactly how much material we needed so we didn't overbuy and we didn't have a lot of waste left over. This cutting board just looks so sick. I can't man. I I hope that the camera is doing it justice, but that purple heart and that walnut right next to each other, man, that's pretty. Absolutely seamless. And it's really rich. So this walnut is from uh, walnut stock that I bought. Um, when we were driving through the one of the bigger towns in the state and uh, he had a lot of really, really figured walnut and it was just, be, I mean, just flames. And I've got a couple other pieces still left out there, but this is a scrap piece. So there's a lot of figure that I don't think the camera is picking up, but there's a lot of depth to it, which looks really nice. And of course, Purple Heart, it's Purple Heart, it looks pretty. Um, and then cherry and I like I, I don't know. I kind of like the design. I designed this. I didn't let Jenny design it She probably would have done a better, better job, but I kind of like the light going to dark and then back to light again I don't know looks kind of like racing stripes or something like that But Yeah, all in all it turned out really nice. I'm hoping that he enjoys it. He already saw the picture on Instagram So I know he's excited to see it and uh, hope they get a lot of good use out of it